guys, welcome to this week's episode of Things to Do in Lagos. I'm Uzo and I'm standing in for a very, very, very sick Violet. Violet, we hope you get better before next week. Well, so just because there are not a lot of things happening, like events happening for this weekend, I'm going to be bringing you my top five restaurants that you must visit this weekend. Well, that is only because, of course, you know how that's said the beach or something, but I mean, the rains are too, it's just disrupting a lot of things, and so the beach is out of it. And here goes my top five restaurants to visit in Lagos this weekend. My number one restaurant is Wheat Baker. Now you might be wondering, what's in Wheat Baker? Why would I say Wheat Baker? Try out their prawns. Those lobsters, prawns, any seafood thing you want to have, make sure you make it at Wheat Baker. It's always very awesome to eat there. Second restaurant is Skybox. Now I have never been to Skybox, so I'm definitely going to try that out this weekend, but I hear that their food is amazing. My third restaurant is Knock by Alara. Of course, I always love to infuse some kind of tradition into whatever meals that I have so make sure you check out Knock by Alara this weekend especially Sundays and when you get there tell them Uzo sent you and then you get a discount just kidding my fourth restaurant is The Harvest a lot of people have complained about The Harvest being expensive but when you put good food expect to pay good money for it right so check out The Harvest and ignore how much the food costs and my last restaurant to visit this weekend would definitely be the backyard i would love for uh, you know maybe like dinner because the ambience is just always so cool in the evening at the backyard and their chips and chicken oh very 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 yummy i cook too but i know that theirs is probably just a little better than mine you know but make sure you go check out the backyard this weekend as they'll be offering you some really lovely meals that would satisfy your tummy and make you go boom da la la all right and that's what i have for you on this week's things to do in lagos make sure you follow us across all our social media handles and until next week stay tuned violet is going to be bringing you all the very juicy events that will be happening and then um, hopefully the rains have subsided so we can have fun again i remain uzo and this is things to do in lagos bye, -bye.